generation we are coming for, I need you to show these people love. <laughs> it is called talent session. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring to you the talent session. Miss Tourism, Northern Uganda 2024. The contestants are here to show you that they got it all. Let's welcome the first one on stage, and that is contestant number one, DJ Val, if you are ready. Yeah, keep clapping as she's coming. Oh. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Yep. Aha! Good evening. It is yet another auspicious, blissful day here at Miss Tourism Uganda Television, and we are broadcasting live from the heart of Laos sub region, bringing you authentic news from the source, and here are the headlines. <laughs> Exhibition hills at Lira Hotel. Miss Tourism contest commences. Let the pulse shine campaign in schools. Northern region to hit top most in the tourism sector of Uganda. <laughs> tourism sector to be hit the most during the Kenyan riots. My name is Lakarabe Giovanna, and now the news in detail. Lira City, Northern Uganda, the highly anticipated Miss Tourism Uganda, Northern Region, 2024-2025 Grand Finale Contest kicked off with a vibrant exhibition at Lira Hotel as early as 10 a.m. Showcasing the rich cultural heritage and tourism potential of the region, the event drew hundreds of attendees, including tourism stakeholders, local leaders, and enthusiasts. The Miss Tourism Uganda Northern Region 2024-2025 contest officially began with a glamorous opening ceremony at Lira Hotel. Contestants from various districts in the region showcased their talent, beauty, and knowledge of tourism. However, some of them declined due to the fear of the crowd. In a thought-provoking presentation, contestant number six called from shed light on the lesser known aspect of dark tourism in the northern region. She highlighted the region's complex history, including the lot resistant army conflict, the resilience of the people. In other news, the recent protests in Kenya will greatly affect the financial condition of the country. The tourism tech sector will be hit the most, if not the responsible parties, to step out to combat peaceful resolutions to help the country. Thank you. And to summarize the news, here are the headlines once again. Exhibitions held at Lira Hotel. Miss Tourism contest commences. Dark Tourism is brought to light. Tourism sector to be hit most. Thank you for tuning to Miss Tourism Uganda Television. Coming up next is the showcase. Thank you. Who is coming here, judges? 
have been informed that they have exactly four minutes maximum. Yes. So it doesn't matter if they use one or two, it's still okay, three. But maximum, I'm told it's four. Thank you. Let's give it up for contestant number one. Um, I, I'm going to request, that, that I noticed that uh, there are some people who are here, and you know some of these personnel uh, very closely. Kindly, when they are performing here, give them time to perform. Don't be shouting. I had one of them say, my sweetheart, you are going to disorganize the competition. <laughs> if, if she's your sweetheart that is at home, from here, shout with her real name. A joke! Okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Awidila Kerry Rachel. My talent is poetry. Please enjoy. <laughs> Travelers from seeking new sites. Oh, then I don't just mean new sites. I mean the powerful water of Maxon Falls National Game Park, the true African wildness of Chidepo National Game Park. Not forgetting the special footprint of God Ibuje having Chafutianu Lum. But peace is a treasure that makes it right. In northern Uganda, we find common ground and understanding blooms without a sound. Through cultural exchange, we break down barriers and build bridges so wide and strong. So let us travel with open hearts and mind to, to create a peaceful world and promote tourism and peace. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, another round for contestant number two. Number five. You have the microphone. A very good evening to everyone. I am Akelo Julian from Agago District. I am making a flower because the theme of this year says tourism and peace. And each color of the flower represents peace. The white represents peace. The red represents love. The green represents nature. So I'm going to make these flowers because flowers bring us together. It brings love in our society, love in our region. Thank you. She has four minutes to do this. My beauty as a woman to the promotion of tourism and to the peace that it thrives come from my flower making. As I sit down in the lush gardens of northern Uganda, Surrounded by vibrant flowers and soothing sounds of nature, I couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over me. I travel to this beautiful region to experience its stunning beauty Come on, and um, rich culture. Can I interrupt and a bit? The judges send you too far. The flower making with the local community. They can't see clearly. Let's let's give her time to get closer there. 
Yeah, right there. Stand where they can see. They don't want you to cheat. <laughs> uh, they want to see how you are making the flowers. Anyone booking our flowers after this? As I work crafting intricate flower arrangement, I was stuck by the pyros between the delicate petals and the fragile peas that had been cultivated in this region. Just as each flower required careful nurturing and attention to bloom, so too had people of Northern Uganda worked tirelessly to rebuild and restore their communities after five years of conflicts. <laughs> See, as I explored the region, I marveled at the, at the breathtaking scenery, the rolling hills, the majestic Nile River, and the vibrant markets bursting with color and life. Let me ask you something. When you're given a flower, what is the first thing that you do? Hear them, hear them. Who, these are people who've never received flower guessing that, that you kiss it, you smell it, somebody say you pocket it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, thank you. Judges, our time is up. Number, the next contestant, number three, is ready. Yes, let's have number three. Madam, thank you. Merci, merci, merci. I continue to thank our partners, Super Love, Darling Uganda. Thank you. I'm told Team Unity FM is here in the house. 97.7, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and there is power in a unity. And there is power in our mind, in our unity, in our culture. If we understand that power, we will be limitless. <laughs> Cheers up together for number three. Oh yeah. My friends from Pakistan, how is it? Is it hot like Pili Pili? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have contestant number four here to show us her talent. <laughs> Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aporo Mata, contestant number four. My talent is dancing. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want you to go. 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 Yeah, I don't want
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for contest number four. She said the talent is dancing, and that was La Kubu Kubu. Hey, Anira, eh, eh, Anira, eh, Anira, oh, oh. Number four is, number six is up here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check what she has for us. Good evening, everyone. My talent is poetry. Stay blessed as you listen. rises high where once conflict related the pace now peace prevails and tourists roam discovering beauty in a former home mansions mighty falls a sight to see today Paul's wilderness wild and free a sanctuary of peace for all humanity we were poor, comfort, but Till I lean, la lean. But when you do my coach, but when you do our pair, our mother when you pick coach, you come The Nile's water, I wonder to explore a symbol of life where peace and tourism soar. They la coro coro, they are more, they are the best traditional dishes in Uganda, but only found in Northern Uganda. The tribe's warm hospitality, a treasure to share cultural exchange beyond compare. The drums beats in harmony, a rhythm so sweet, a signal for peace. Tourism brings hope and a chance to thrive in a region once torn now alive with every visitor a story is told of peace and progress young and old so come and explore this peaceful northern land and find beauty that's taken root in the sand <laughs> 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 
For in tourism and peace, a brighter future is made in Northern Uganda, where love and hope are displayed. I say this for God and my country. Thank you. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for contestant number six. I love the poem. Yes. Some of you are hearing these things as it's news. <laughs> You've never heard a poem. They are here. You know, kai dog pasu, but kai poor na the poor tour ka tour ka the sound of peace and love in the middle of the night from the hotel to home. <laughs> you scare them. Contestant number seven. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abo Twini. I've come all the way from a part district to advocate for tourism and peace. I am going to perform a loud traditional song called Kiri, which is danced purposely to motivate the Lao warriors Amuha when going for war to defend our nation. Thank you. All got one line, all got one line, all got one line. One, one line, one line, all got one line, all got one line. Oh yeah, Amuha can get the Kiri, 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 Amuha can get the Kiri,
Aya! Awun kiriye! Kiri wayo! Kiriye! Amina kwa diri ngong kiri mor pinga. Ito wori kiri kere kim jo kun. Wori boyfriend. Kere body guard ye. Aha. Thank you. Oh, oh. What about Monday? Come by me. I pour you. I mean, now you come by me again, no. I tell me you free transport. Don't you? I go and get a water bar. And I come up with Perry when you can enjoy can mirror accountability part. And no, I pour you water. Cartier, which is in the way I'm not for Uganda, not only. Hey, all right. I have contested number eight. She's yet to present our talent to us. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm a Lobo retail contestant number nine, representing Kwania District. My talent is poetry. was an outcast but then I realized being black doesn't inhibit me from being beautiful and intelligent several times we are told we needed to dress cooler and better but then that is not the case we realized our strength as black women of northern Uganda we realize our strength is in our black melanin. When Lisa Nicole said, if I shine bright, wear sunglasses, she meant the black woman of Northern Uganda. We believe in the beauty that blooms from the inside out to our melanin skins and strikes like the flashlight a black woman has been able to fulfill her roles satisfy the eyes of her suitors through a perfect meal a delicacy a traditional cuisine Agira. talk of a malakwang foods spiced with shea butter oil the meekness in the process the joy in the process it's what distincts us from the rest of the world welcome to northern uganda where legs like lekwania falls like a room kiss the shores mountains like gongera rise with grace cultures are truly allow blend and we find a common space what a joy that togetherness the unity the gracefulness welcome to the land of political vocal women and men rest in peace honorable Cecilia Timogwal the political icon iron lady you fought your battle and inspired us welcome to Kid Gum. Honorable Lilia Nabe, the powerful woman, Minister of Disaster and Preparedness. Do you need to know more about black people? Welcome to Northern Uganda, where travelers come from near and far seeking for their guiding star. They end up in Northern Uganda. Come take 
to joy. Come test the feeling, the love that we exhibit. Through tourism, we have been able to create a universal language where we welcome people near and far because of our hospitality. I'm proud to come from Northern Uganda. I'm proud to be a black woman. That is the beauty of the black people from Northern Uganda. One minute. Thank you. Time is up. Come on, put your hands up together for contestant number eight, Rita. Thank you. Papa Kochi, the, the team from Voice of Lao. I see you pretending as if you don't know what's up. Number nine is ready for us. I'll be telling you where the after party is going down after number nine. Let's welcome number nine here to show us our talent. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alobo Shalom. My talent is poetry, my own music, and I'm going to sing for you. Thank you. Kindly enjoy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm lost. Not because I'm lost in life, but because I'm lost in my thought. Have you ever seen the hill that's believed to have fallen from heaven? and experience the nature there okay have you seen the beautiful ladies from northern uganda i mean the true african black ladies twist their waist during the rakaraka dance have you seen the nile one of the longest river in the world flow through maxion fall and see the beautiful rainbow now appears at the fall just to appreciate nature oh my all these are in Uganda have you been to the the wilderness of the world one of the most beautiful national park in Africa I didn't even know that Uganda holds 50 percent of the world's mountain cholera i didn't say in east africa neither did i say in africa but i said in the world in the world in the world Good environment. I find peace to live in a natural home and walk. But I cannot repeat. Can someone try? Can somebody try? Okay, Mara, Moga Moga, pay time. 
Uh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take this minute to, to welcome the queens that are here. We still have two more left. DJ, let's have number 10, if you are ready. Number 10 is here to show us what she has for the night. <laughs> A good evening to you all ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kia Edna from Lira District. My talent is dancing. I'm going to dance for you, okay? Me where me where me point for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the last contestant for Miss Tourism 2024-2025, number 11 is here to show us our talent. Madam, you're welcome. Whenever an elephant steps or passes through a path, it leaves a footmark. And that footmark is being followed by the rest of the elephants or animals. And I am the elephant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Atimango Judy, and my talent is poetry. The worst day of my life was the day I turned a blind eye to the potential of tourism and to the peace that would drive. I saw the tribes. 
their cultures and their beauty so grand, but fail to take tourism opportunity to share it with an open hand. If it was an opportunity given to you, would you fail to take it? An opportunity of tourism without this means. In Northern Uganda's art, a chance I did miss, and that was the worst day of my life. But now I saw the errors of my ways. The power of tourism to promote peace and a brighter day. I want to make it right and share our story so bold that amidst the rolling hills of Northern Uganda's grace lies a land of beauty where peace takes its place. From Chidepo Savannah to Mission Falls National Game Park, tourism gentle footsteps echo through its own. From the shores of Lake Yoga, the beauty of Lango region is a treasure which assists a gentle breeze that whispers Kuch Kutunu Kopacho. Lost in wonders and glee, they wonder about the Nile water flowing through our souls, puncturing our thirst and making our heart warm. In Northern Uganda, where tribes unite, a truly Zanlango, shining so bright, their cultures blend like the colors of the sky, a vibrant heritage that reaches so high. See, a truly small hospitality and language gentle on is a welcome mat for every traveler. Their cuisines are so rich with art of tasty flavors like their bow, their mumu, their malakwang, their lakoro koro, lakili kili udi anoya, the culinary journey through the night. Uganda. In the market of Lira, Oyong, Alepto, Ulupate, and Kitgum, artisans showcase their skills, a kaleidoscope of artworks that tells their stories still, like the ashes of Labo and the Pea about the spears and the pits. Their musical instruments, like Bull, Bila, Lanigirigi, Uluru, once blown. Round of applause for contestant number 11.